Basically, guys, I'm a middleman. I don't buy property with cash and renovate them. I'm not a passive income earner. I'm a massive income earner. And I love to be a massive income earner. And so I'm going to show you on this, on this board here a breakdown of what a wholesale real estate transaction is and how you can position yourself to do the same thing. We don't have to have cash to do this and you don't have to have good credit to do this neither. And let me say this one big misconception. You don't have to have a license. You as an American in America have the right to control property through contracts with the backing of a real estate attorney, okay? As long as you got real estate attorneys backing you, you can control your position in real estate. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, I'm a middleman. What do I do? I network with wealthy individuals whose sole aim is to buy houses. They have millions of dollars. These are my buyers. I'm a connector. So then I go across the other field and I align myself with motivated sellers. Motivated off-market property. I don't, I don't find realtors um, you know, that has property listed on the MLS to showcase to everybody. I don't want that. I don't want to get in any bidding wars with any investors. I'm trying to find some cheap off the market nobody know about that's being the competition. And so what I do, I market through direct mail. Does everybody understand what direct mail marketing is? You ever seen a postcard in your mailbox from Bed Bath and Beyond? They trying to sell you some soap or something? That's direct mail marketing. That's what I utilize. I send postcards out to motivated sellers who are going through situations, divorces, uh, inherited property. You know, somebody mom may have died and left a property in their name. They don't know what to do with it. They out of state. So I'm mailing to these people who need the cash now. Not a retail seller who's just looking to, you know, make a profit off his property. I don't disrespect it, but I need a motivated sale. Does that make sense? Let me break down how I, how I get paid as a wholesale real estate investor. So as an investor, as a wholesale real estate investor, I have to abide by the criteria of my buyers. So what I do is I locate these wealthy buyers. Where do I locate them? I go find out what a rich play. It might be the it might be the golf course. It might be a real estate networking event where these guys are at. And I'm gonna go there and find them because I have an immense desire to become rich. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get suited up and booted up and I'm gonna say, hey, how you doing, sir? My name is Rico Smith. I can find you any property in Mississippi. Let me be your eyes and ears to the market. Let me go hit the ground for you, lock these properties in position, and get this money. They're going to say, man, I like your drive. I got to work with you. You see what I mean? So I build the relationship with them already. I build rapport with them so they can believe in me, so they can know I'm not going to send them no bull crap. Right? right? So he says, hey, OK, I like that. I have about 2.5 million I need to liquidate in six months. I need three bedrooms, two bath homes, located in Hickory Hill, Cordova, Germantown, Whitehaven, the good areas. I don't want Frazier, I don't want South Memphis, I don't want Orange Mound. Y'all see where it's going, right? Buyers don't like bad areas. They want you to find the properties in good areas so they can make a what? A profit on the flip. They need equity in the property, right? So, they, so this is what I do, I go find what they need. Lock it under contract always, you want a 50% discount. If the house is worth 100, you need that contract at 50,000 or lower. Does that make sense? It's equity that in that property. So I find the house, I do my direct mail marketing, and I find me a property. My house is gonna be a little bit ugly, y'all, it's okay. So I find a property. Can we all see it? I wanna make sure everyone sees this. So I find a property, got my windows, got my roof, got my chimney smoking, right? And this property is worth $100,000. I found something I can, I can play with. I got a property that's worth $100,000. Now what I have to do is, I have to talk to Susan. Let's put her name here. Susan is what you call a motivated seller, right? So from my mailing, Susan lives in New York, by the way. 
Her whole entire family is in Memphis, but she goes to school in New York. These are the type of cars you're gonna get. She lives in New York City. Okay? She got my postcard in the mail. She's she's hysterical when she's asking when she picks up the phone. I said, hey Susan, how you doing? What's wrong? I got your postcard. My mom just died in Memphis. Uh, you know, I, I need cash to cover the room. I have to leave. Can you help me? I don't know anything about real estate. I've never flipped a property before. I need the cash and I, I think you can help me. And I say, yes ma'am, I can, Susan. Let me get the address of that property and let me do my online due diligence. Guess what I'm gonna do, y'all? I'm gonna take that address that she sent me and I'm gonna shoot it straight to my buyer. You wanna leverage the knowledge of your buyers. These are millionaires. They already know what to, what to buy at, what price to buy at. Does that make sense? So you're not gonna do too much due diligence in which you are, but I'm not gonna spend that much time on that. It'll, it'll be hours. But you wanna leverage your buyer's knowledge. So your buyer's gonna immediately tell you, hey man, yeah, I, I like that property. I want that property at $57,000. Does that make sense? He can tell you what he wants to buy the property at, he is. So what's gonna be your next position? Come back to you need to come back and talk to Susan on negotiation. Hey Susan, I did my online due diligence. We can pay for your house cash. And with you working with these wealthy buyers, they're gonna buy these properties cash in a week's time. They're not gonna take 35 to 40 days to close. Motivated sellers don't, that's too much time, right? They need their cash by the, <laughs> the end of the week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey Susan, we can, we can get your property for 50,000 cash. And I'm going to give you your check in seven days after my attorney's full title. Susan says, give me a minute to think about it. Hangs up the phone. So now you're in a position where you're kind of nervous. You, you need to know if you're going to get this deal, right? So she calls you back, Rico, Rico, let's do it. I've talked to my husband. I need that 50,000 cash. I got to get to Memphis. Hang up the phone. Jumping up and down. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I got my deal. What do you do now? Call your buyer. You call your buyer. You let your buyer know, hey, my buyer name is Kurt. I say, hey, Kurt, we got a deal. She, she's agreed to it. And Kurt is like, great. Okay. Right. 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 So Kurt is like, great. You know, let's get the deal done. How, how do I do this? I lock the property up in what you call a purchase contract, okay? Purchase contract. You can get this purchase contract from your closing attorney. The purchase contract is going to state that 50000 seven days, she's going to get her check. Now, you want your buyer to come to the property. Your buyer is the money guy, so don't put a money sign in his face. Your buyer's gonna look at the house and estimate the repairs, make sure this house doesn't need a lot of work. Luckily, the mom who was in the property that passed maintained it very well. It doesn't need any repair. Everything has already been modernized. You got granite kitchen countertops and everything. Don't need no finger done to it. So the buyer comes, he says, I want it. I want to pay 50 cents. Mm, where your spread at? How much, how much you finna get out these deals? Seven thousand dollars for your time and effort. But just middleman in this deal. That's significant. That's, that's, that's tremendous. Most people can't conceive they're working at a job trying to create a retirement plan. That's crazy. Yeah. So, okay, you create a, you're gonna have two contracts, one with the seller and one with your buyer. The second contract is called an assignment contract. The assignment legally assigns your rights out of the contract to another person. Does that make sense? This assignment allows you to legally assign your rights to this buyer. This assignment says, Kurt is to pay Rico 7K for a wholesale deal. Let's say that, okay? That makes sense? And so, with that being said, you would have to go to what I like to call the money center, but it's really called the title company, by a show of hands, do we know what a title company is? The 
title companies were a team of real estate attorneys working to close properties. They pull a title on these deeds to make sure the deed is clear, free of tax liens, free of judgment. Right? Right? Get a little, get some water in my foot. Get a little red. Okay. So, they're gonna pull a title. You are to take both of those contracts to your closing attorney who you know. I am well down and acquainted with closing attorneys. So Claire is gonna pull title on this property. The property is free and clear. It takes two days for a title pool, guys. Once that is done, it's gonna take five more days for the buyer to issue the funds to the escrow account. So the buyer, after seven days, issues his funds to the escrow account at the closing attorney's office. He's gonna get Susan, how much? 50,000. Susan gets 50K. You as the middleman, I'm gonna write you right here as the middleman. She's gonna cut you a check for what? 7K. And the buyer gets a good property. He can hold, put another tenant in there, refinance, does anybody know what refinance means? When he spent his 57,000, he's gonna to go to the bank and get it reappraised and go pull out 90. He can pull out a loan against the home to go buy more properties and leave that tenant to pay that debt down that he just created for the refinance. 